I so love you. <laughs> I've had a powerful experience over the last year or so. I made a friend on the internet across the world. And in the course of the period of time, his country went to war. And I thought about what could I say to him. And what I said to him was, I believe there is a deep peace that underlies all of the chaos. And he wrote back and he said, I believe that too. And we started quoting Rumi back and forth and made this connection. And he's Muslim and I'm no discernible, identifiable religion, but <laughs> we found a way to communicate that, that peace. And he would say to me, I can hear the bombs and guns outside, but I feel in here there's a peaceable kingdom on the internet connecting through Facebook messaging across the world. And for months I told him that my friends and I were praying for him. His family got out six months earlier and then they closed all the borders and everything and he was there in the town that had basically been destroyed around him. But a couple of weeks ago, he told me he's been reunited with his family. And I had that powerful experience of watching someone in a contrast that I'd never experienced, way more contrast than I've ever experienced, maintain his peace. Well, the reason for that, it's a credit to him, certainly, to find alignment in an environment where it is more difficult to find it. And it's a credit to the relationship that you have. In other words, sometimes from a far distance where you are not personally touched with something, you can stay in alignment and shine a light of well-being. But you've got to know that Source is doing that for all beings all the time. Mm -hmm. And so it is the receptive mode that makes the difference because no one is left out of this. No one is forgotten. Everyone's prayers are being answered. Everyone who is asking for anything, source is on it. Right. But there is an important thing to understand about being in a situation where there is amplified contrast. It causes amplified desire. And amplified desire summons amplified source energy. And when that source energy is stronger, then the receptive mode is easier to find. Because the desire to find it is stronger. You see what we're getting yeah. at? Uh -huh. And so, every now and again, Esther would see something on the other side of the world that was so upsetting to her. And the question that she asked on many occasions is, if it feels this badly to me, at this distance from it, what must it feel like to be in the middle of it? And we say, you have to factor in the resources of source that are present. And we also want you to understand, and this really follows what we were just talking about, about your physical well-being, about your alignment with source energy. It's really an important thing to acknowledge that negative emotion is negative emotion, positive emotion is positive emotion. Write that down. <laughs> but we want you to feel the depth of what we mean by that. You could feel as much negative emotion over being mad at yourself about something as you could feel in the middle of a fearful battle right in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You disallowing you to be you for whatever reason. So rather than debating the bigness of the issues or the awfulness of the manifestations, let's talk about the power of the emotion that you feel and what it means. Mm -hmm. Because when you betray your belief in your goodness, that's as bad as it gets. Being in a war zone is just bombs dropping around you. That's nothing <laughs> in comparison to personal betrayal. Mm. You following us? Yeah. In other words, there are things that you watch, the movies and the music with the movies, they dramatize the horrible things. You can watch something that can make you be fearful of people in the bushes that are skulking around, meaning harm. Or, In other words, there's all kinds of things that you can focus upon. And if you focus upon them for the duration of a whole movie, you can have the blankets pulled up over your head and you can find yourself feeling very fearful about it. But negative emotion 
is not about things that you're watching out in the world that are happening to others. Negative emotion is about your response in this now, your relativity to the vibration of the source within you. And so this person finding more resolve than ever before to trust in the wholeness of who he is. Sometimes those situations that you think you would like to run screaming into the woods that you never want to experience ever are the experiences that bring you closer to who you are, but you don't need to be in a war zone in order to align with source energy. It just helps sometimes. <laughs> you see what we're getting at? Uh -huh. Something about being in a war zone makes you focus upon the importance of your life. We would like you to focus upon the importance of your life in a peace zone. We would like you to focus upon the importance of your life while you're having breakfast with your children. We would like you to focus upon the importance of your life when you're having thoughts about yourself in your now. We would like you to feel how important you are out here on this leading edge. It matters that you're here and what you're considering matters. And the things that you put into the vortex through the gestation of life matters. And the attention of source and all who've been before upon what matters to you matters. And it matters to you how much you allow that energy to flow to you and through you about these things that are important to you. Instead of getting together in groups and trying to identify the important topics, let's talk about what's really important. War is really more important than what we're having for dinner. And what we're having for dinner is really more important than the scarf that you have found that you really <laughs> like and that you are enjoying. In other words, mm -hmm. and we say, don't measure it by its human, see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it comparison. Mm -hmm. Everything must be understood through the comparison of the relationship between the way you're seeing something and the way source is seeing something. And we want you to know that when you're standing in a gallery or on the beach or anywhere looking out at anything and you're finding pleasure and beauty in it, no matter how hard you have to look to find it, when you find it, you have found what source is seeing about the same. And when you revel in your heart and when you feel enthusiastic and when you feel passion and love and appreciation, you're in alignment and that matters. That matters the most of all, you see. It's not the subject matter and the hierarchy that has been defined in as human matter manifested form. It's the alignment which then brings about the emphasis and the evidence of the alignment that you have found. So many get it backwards. They say, give me a condition to which I will respond. And that's a little bit of the conversation that we were having here. It's a condition to which you could be responding or there is a vibration that makes all conditions irrelevant. All conditions are irrelevant once you find alignment, but they are not so irrelevant that they do not change to match the vibration that you have established. Mm -hmm. Isn't it interesting? So we say, if you could find a way to be unconditional in your life, if that condition could change, I would feel so much better. Well, when you feel so much better, that condition can change. No, change the condition and then I have a reaction to the condition. Mm -hmm find a vibration and the condition will react to your vibration. So what's the reaction? Law of attraction is causing the dominant reaction. So when you control your mood or attitude, law of attraction brings you replication of it in all things in your life experience. But if this condition were just different, I would feel better. We know that. But can you find something else to focus upon so that you feel better? got 10 subjects in your life. Nine of them are terrible. One of them is good. Focus upon the one. Use it as the reason that you are feeling the way you are and the other nine will respond accordingly. But Abraham, isn't that sort of conditional? Yes, but what's it conditional on? It's conditional upon wanting to feel good. If you can let everything be conditional only upon how you want to feel and you can show yourself that you have the ability to focus yourself into a way of feeling good regardless of the conditions, sometimes you have to go away from the screaming mobs. Sometimes you have to find a way out of the war zone. We're not saying that it's easy under those conditions. Sometimes you have to walk away from somebody who you love very much who's just yeah, 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 yeah all the time about unwanted things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to put yourself in a place where it's easier. But if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would do anything and everything that we could do, which is primarily two important things. Get a good night's sleep every night, wake up knowing that you are changed, and then do your best to hold yourself in that better feeling position, even if it requires being happy. <laughs> 
even if it requires meditating to get a good running start even if it requires hanging around with those that make it easiest to do it give yourself an opportunity to get that good feeling momentum going and then watch what happens most important we say this to you because we can feel you collectively we know who you are let us give this to you to those of you who have gathered here stop relitigating your past stop standing in your now wishing you'd done it different or regretting that you did something different just let that go because as in your now you are regretting something then you're not getting yourself into alignment now which is all that matters you've got to give yourself a break you've got to give up the battle you've got to love yourself anyway there isn't anything that you could have done that makes it important for you to hold yourself against or away from the love of source energy in other words just give in to it surrender to your goodness accept it and stop taking the word of others or even your own condemnation nation about things just let it go and watch how in your now you will be filled with all of the clarity that is surrounding you and life will go on feeling really 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 good it is our promise to you that if you were not magnificent creators you would not have come into this body in this time if you did not know the power and the perfection of the delicious contrast that surrounds you you would not have chosen this time to be focused into this environment if you did not know that from this you would create a magnificent vibrational reality and if you did not know that that vibrational reality could be witnessed by you as full manifestation you would not be here but you are here you're here for all of that wonderful experience you see so stop sifting and sorting the manifestations so diligently and instead reach for this vibrational world this vibrational alignment and look through the eyes of source for just a little while and remember who you are and why you're here you're not here to fix stuff you're not even here to learn stuff although you can't help it you're here for the joy of being here you're here to experience that sweet spot where you've mixed it all up you've asked and asked and asked you've got it in the vortex it's right there for you to receive you're here for the impulse of desire ah and then you're here to watch that desire turn to a thing by your steady allowance not your steady guidance your steady allowance and how do you allow the good stuff that you've already queued up that you deserve and that you want how do you allow it to come by knowing that you're good and by allowing it to come and by no longer pointing a finger at you or anyone else that is preventing you from allowing it to come you see life is supposed to be fun it's supposed to feel good to you it's interesting how you've gotten to such a work mode we say to you the basis of life it's a triad of intentions that you were born with a freedom and growth and joy freedom freedom is the basis of your experience you are so free that you can choose bondage <laughs> growth is the natural inevitable consequence of being here you can't stop it life just causes you to ask and ask and ask and that's growth in other words expansion you are a part of it you are a big part of it and you cannot stop that joy Joy is how you put yourself into the receptive mode. Freedom and growth and joy. And you say, we hear you, Abraham. Gross, gross, gross. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll get rid of the bad guys. We'll lock them up. We'll bomb them. We'll choose what's right. We'll do what's righteous. We'll grow, we'll grow, we'll grow. And we say, stop it. <laughs> Reach for the joy that is natural to you reach for the joy that the source within you is flowing to you all day every day and find it and own it and practice it and feel the momentum of it and then feel the ease with which you joyously receive the ideas and witness the manifestation of them would you say since thoughts create and since you're here in an environment where you can witness the evidence of your creation would you say that as your desires unfold doesn't it have to be evidence of your goodness and do you understand that you're the only one that holds the key to that nobody else is saying uh-uh not you not you not now nobody's saying that to you only you are saying it good conversation <laughs>